That's right, everyone. We're going to be playing the park. I'm your Gibbs, and we're playing this live in front of the beautiful people on Twitch, Hitbox, and on YouTube. Uh, is this controller thing working? It sure is. So I'm just going to hop right into this thing, and then we'll have to kind of learn as we go. The park is a narrative experience best played in the dark, wearing headphones. Check and check. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing for some players. Ooh. It's called The Park. I am a big fan of creepy, broken down amusement parks, so I'm really excited to see how this goes. Uh, Jesse55612, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Yes, creepy amusement parks are the best. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Hmm. Already this game looks uh, very pretty. I love the uh, lack of uh, user interface here. Okay, let's see here. So I am playing this blind. So we're gonna go and look at all of the nooks and crannies and just have a, a lot of fun exploring. Let's just see. I don't know. Can I go this way? Can I run? How do I run? Uh, I don't know the run button. <laughs> Am I able to run? It is very beautiful, isn't it? I like how the, it's like carved into the rocks here. Check that out. Is there a run button? Oh. It's Atlantic Island Park, and boy, is the sun setting super quick. Man, it looks really gorgeous. I love the little puddles with the reflections in them. Examine Calum the plaque. Was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Okay. How do I get out of here? Atlantic Island Park, a tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon. Solomon Island and the people who use their talents to bring the dreams of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all those who follow after. Dedicated this first day of May, 1977. James B. Longley. Hmm. Okay, so how do I... How do I get out of this uh, scene here? Um... Wait, <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, why am I trapped looking at- oh, there we go. Jeez, that was weird. Okay, we're good. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know why we're going to the amusement park when it's close closing down. Ooh, look, I've got feet. You know, it's rare to actually have a video game that shows your feet. Nice. I like that. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Hmm. <laughs> Ready for a cut screen? Or a cutscene? Back to my feet. <laughs> Neat. Hello? 
Ooh, look at my reflection. You can actually see the bow that was in my hair. Check that out. Uh, okay. Shout to Callum. Callum. Callum, where are you going? Catch me, mommy. No, 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 no. You're grounded. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. This way. No, why would you Callum, do that, Callum? Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Over here. Callum. Callum, where are you going? Come on, mommy. Uh, okay. This place has got rainbows of fun from the looks of it. Can I run now? Wow, this is like the craziest. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Uh, okay. How did it get dark so fast? It's dark already. Callum! This doesn't look like a very safe amusement not park. Playing anymore, Callum. Oh god. The park. Oh, what I can run. Here? What happened? You can't catch me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here, young man. I don't know. Callum! What's over here? Callum? Where'd you go? Oh, you've seen this? Okay. You've seen this from uh, other YouTubers, have you? Yeah, I think this game came out 2015. So, that's uh, what last, I guess, probably this time of year, last year. Okay. I do like the the look of the game is really nice. Okay, let's have a look at our map here. What do we got? What do we see? Sideshow and Alley, House of Horrors, Bumper Cars. Okay, how do I get to the bumper cars? I want to go to the bumper cars. I'm not sure if she has a daughter, but she definitely has a son. Okay, so I guess maybe I have to go this way. Run! Uh, there's a bit of fog here. How could there be fog way up here in the mountains? I'm feeling that's the Wait, Callum. House on, of Horrors. Way. Yeah, I I really don't feel like that I would uh, want to chase my child through this area at night. I just feel like it's kind of dangerous. Uh, Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Oh, that's, that's, that's refreshing. Come out, sweetie. Over here. Oh, yes, the Haunted Hotel is, uh, actually, uh, I'm enjoying that too. Haunted Hotel 12, I really liked. I did, uh, record the beta for Haunted Hotel 13. Uh, it's okay, I think I liked 12 better. Okay. I have to go to the Tunnel of Love ride. Is that what this thing is? Because it's not looking very lovely. Too dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. Okay, then let's not Come go in back. there. Come back. Over here. Wow, Calum. Come back, Calum. Calum, Calum. I refuse to call you by your name properly, Cal. How about I just call him Cal? Where are you? He keeps saying that, but that doesn't help me. I'm over here by the statue that... Oh. Hello, shoe. I think this belongs to Calm. Ooh, I can rotate the shoe. Alright. Any evidence on the bottom here? A little CSI.
We are gonna be looking at this crazy looking squirrel from the looks of it. Chipmunk, huh? Oh, chipmunk. Just a drunk guy in a suit. Huh. Chad the chipmunk, worse in the class. Chad can't even see to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Okay. Fair enough. So should I be doing any exploring at this point or should I just uh, keep on trucking here? I actually have played the CSI games. I haven't recorded them though. It's been on my list to get to at some point. But I have played them. Or not all of them, I think s maybe half of them. It is a very horrible song, yes indeed. Okay, so let's go to the tunnel. Uh, what was that? Tunnel of... Tails? Is that what that is? Let's have a look at her map. I want to go to the bumper cars. When do I get to go to the bumper cars? Callum? Why are you over there in the boat? Callum. Oh man. Okay, so I guess we got to go on these uh, swans not here. Anymore, Callum. Yeah, seriously, Callum. Callum, stay where you are. This looks kind of interesting. I like how it's just basically in, out in the wild here. Most of the amusement parks I've ever been have been like landlocked, so that they're not like out in the wild like this. This is crazy. Okay, let's ride the swan. Okay, where's the accelerator? Oh, wow, I've got some torn jeans on here. Andrew, this is your first live stream. Well, welcome to your very first live stream. Can this thing go faster? No? No. Okay, so what do we got in here? Near a great forest. There lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow Jesus. and abandon them there. Woo. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Yes, I do believe this game is on PS4, Master Tech. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. This is... Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Strange. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. 